Hi, I'm GI Eddie Leonard. Welcome to Salisbury District Hospital, as you now know it. This place actually began life as an American field hospital. Now, I've been haunting these corridors for quite some time now, and I fancy a trip down memory lane. Let me show you the way it was back in my day. Come along. The year is 1942. The U.S. Army has transferred patients to a site at Oddstock near Salisbury to support the Salisbury General Infirmary in receiving casualties from battle. That's right, you've landed in the middle of World War II. Nissen huts were used as wards. There was no sanitation in the huts. Mobile patients had to use nearby ablution blocks. Nissan huts were replaced with new buildings and the Outstock Hospital was formally opened on the 1st of March, 1943. Now soldiers wounded in the D-Day landings were brought here for treatment. Every year on the 4th of July, the hospital raises the U.S. flag to remember them. Fun fact, a chief nurse who was here in 1943 recalls Queen Elizabeth working here as an ambulance driver. Of course, then she was known as Elizabeth Windsor. Whoa, stop, stop, it's Florence. Florence, hello, hello. Oh, how nice to see you. Florence, you gotta have a ride in our Jeep. This is how we take patients through the hospital in World War II. Would you like a ride? That's good. Come on in. Everyone, meet Florence Nightingale. Known as the Lady with the Lamp, the renowned Florence Nightingale had close links to Salisbury, having exchanged many letters with the Salisbury Infirmary. In 1845, I told my family about my ambitions to become a nurse. I'd really hoped I'd be able to enter Salisbury Infirmary, which was the closest hospital to my family home. Unfortunately, my family did not approve, as at that time nursing was not seen as a respectable profession. But I did not let that stop me, because I knew nursing really was my destiny. In later years, I became friends with Sidney Herbert. He was the president of Salisbury Infirmary and also the Minister for War, and he asked if I could lead a team of nurses in the Crimean War. Over the years, I continued to keep in touch with the hospital and I wrote letters of advice to my cousin. She was the Lady Superintendent of Salisbury's Nurses Home. Should we continue our tour? Let's do this. The first kidney dialysis machine was developed here at Salisbury by Dr. Edward Darmady. Fun fact, Dr. Darmady's grandson works at the hospital now. 1948, the National Health Service is born. Following the birth of the NHS, in 1949, the Wessex Plastic Surgery Unit opened. This was followed in 1952 with the opening of the Burns Unit which was further advanced in 1967 with the opening of the world-leading burn center. The Duke of Cornwall Spinal Injuries Unit was officially opened in June 1984 by Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Well, here we are. We're in the middle of Salisbury, to Fisherton Street, and here it is, the Salisbury Infirmary. Now, it was first opened officially in 1771, thanks to Lord Feversham, who left 500 pounds in his estate in 1763 towards the building of a new hospital. 1993, the infirmary closes and all services are transferred to the Oddstock site, and the new hospital becomes 
Salisbury District Hospital. Now, if we fast forward to 2006, there's a three-level extension to the hospital built. In 2012, Horatio's Garden opened. The creation of this unique outdoor space for patients with spinal injuries and their loved ones was inspired by Horatio Chapel, who was a volunteer when he was just a schoolboy and whose life was tragically cut short when he was just 17. Our one million pound breast unit then opened in December 2016. It was funded by the STARS Appeal and has dedicated diagnostic equipment, treatment and counseling rooms. The hospital continued to grow while serving the local community, but then we hit the national headlines. Poisoned with a military-grade nerve agent. A toxin that was ingested. One of the biggest stories of 2018, an ex-Russian spy and his daughter poisoned by a nerve agent in Salisbury. Putting ordinary lives at risk. Taken to Salisbury District Hospital for emergency treatment. Dawn Sturgis lost her life. It was scary because we didn't know what we were dealing with. I think it's a triumph of teamwork people doing what they're trained to do, an example of how, of how you should do it in a crisis. Flo, you're on mute. On mute. C can you hear me? I can hear you now, Flo, absolutely fine, loud and clear. Why are we meeting like this? Oh, haven't you heard? It's COVID-19. It's this highly dangerous and infectious virus. We have to avoid unnecessary contact whenever possible. I mean, we have to wear things like these masks. We had gas masks in World War II. Now we got these masks. So we're, we're preventing cross-contamination? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. In December 2020, Father Christmas and his helpful elves came with a very special present, delivering a brand new MRI scanner for the hospital. My name is Mercy. Morning, my darling. My name is Mercy. I'm your nurse for today. How are you? Today is the 19th of January. The sun is breaking through. I'm your nurse for today. How are you? The outlook should be positive. The sun is breaking through. Your wife knows you're here. She sends her love. The outlook should be positive. In our prayers of hope, we reflect. A very, very warm welcome to your cathedral on the second anniversary of the imposition of the first national lockdown. I look forward to being with friends again. I worry for my dad, for everyone that's on that front line. Well, Flo, we made it. We're in the present day. It's 2022. Can you believe it? Oh, of course. We've been through so much, haven't we? Wars, epidemics. And here we are in front of the newest addition to the hospital. It's the maternity unit with the new birthing center that was built thanks to the hospital's charity. It's been an amazing adventure. It has. Well, that about wraps it up here. Well, we hope we've shone a light on the history of this amazing hospital, Salisbury District. Flo, it's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. This allowed the wards. That about wraps it up here. And then you say, oh, we can get oh, the cones. Quickly do the cones. <laughs> We're not dodgy, honest. Howdy. Howdy. So you can see this getting out of hand.